Hey guys, it's the Young Smooth Criminal, and welcome back to part four of What If Femme Deku Was Poison Ivy. So, quick disclaimer, because I'm freaking forced to do it, I hate it. But everything I show and talk about is not owned by me, except for the idea and the base general ideas of this. Like the road trip, I'm taking from some of the DC comic books. And the ideas, like what they're going to be doing is basically me. But the main general topics like the tests, everything else is all canon. So we just did the Heroes vs. Villains and it's the, uh, they're on the road trip. Um, so Ivy... Or no, they're coming back from the road trip, and Ivy is flipping through the radio, and she finds a song. Oops. Yeah, the Kaguya what if. But she finds a song. And she turns it up, and it's One Hell of a Team by... Uh, Emma Lee and Divide Music. I'll put it in the description of this video. But. And it's a really good song, by the way. And she just cranks it up and. Cat, Ivy, and. Uh. Harley all start singing along to it because it's basically them. Okay. So. Oh yeah, you guys should watch it. Don't, uh, don't freaking judge me. Don't fecking judge me. Fecking. F-E-C-K. Fecking. You guys should watch him. He's a really good uh, whatever too. But back on topic. And oh crap. <gasps> they're driving back and it's the third day of the road trip. And they're driving back and he's, uh, let me see. Ivy gets a call. She picks it up and says, what is it? And as I was like, are you coming back? And she says, don't worry, Dad. We're coming back. Got to cut it short, though. And he says, so how was convincing the Wild Wild Pussycats for the internship after the sports festival? And she goes, oh, it was pretty good. Um, they said that we'd hop into the city at first to get our bearings around the city. Then we're going to go into the forest, help in the forest. And he goes, okay, okay, makes sense. They are mainly rescue heroes that work in that area. And she goes, yeah. So, a few months later, it's the... No, not a few months. A month later, it's the USJ. Not USJ. Damn it. The sports festival. And it's the obstacle course. Ivy gets second. The um, cavalry, they get first. Because she uses her vines and... Is very easy to pick them off, people. <gasps> and it's now the one v ones. So she has to fight Shinto. Shinto. Uh, he walks out and he's like, "Man, it must have been great to have such a good quirk." And she starts laughing. <laughs> and she can't stop laughing. And all of a sudden, grass starts to pop up throughout the entire stadium. And she answers him and says, Eh, not when they call you a monster when you can talk to plants. Or when your plants are your only friends. And this tree grows on 
right underneath Shinso, and it grows super quickly, and it grows around him. So he's trapped within the branches of the tree, and he's like, let me go, let me go. And she goes, I'll give you one chance to forfeit. And he goes, hell no. Why isn't my quirk working? And she goes, mainly <laughs> because it works on humans, not plants. <laughs> and she just walks up to him and and no one was expecting this, but she walked up to him and planted a kiss right on his lips. And he's like a zombie now. And she goes, forfeit. And he just raises his hand and says, I forfeit. And just walks away. She goes, good slave. And then she walks back. And she walks up to Harley and Cat and goes, so, how'd I do? And in it's Tetsu Tetsu versus Kirishima now. They're fighting. Their fight goes to Cannon. Okay. And Harley goes, did you have to kiss him? And she goes, no. But it's funny seeing his face go from anger to complete submission. And she starts to giggle. And Harley goes, eh, that was kind of a little funny. And she starts to laugh. Maniac. A maniac style. And Cat just chuckles at this. At their antics. And Harley finally asks the question that everybody has been wondering. She asks Cat and uh, Ivy who their crushes are. And Cat says that she has a crush on a corkless person that she's known for a really long time. And they go, ooh, who is it? I'm only going to add his name. I'm not going to actually bring him into the story. And she says his name is Bruce Wayne. It's the only time I'm going to add his name. Every other time it's just going to be, how is she doing on dating him? So. <laughs> so. Harley looks at Ivy and says, so who do you want? Who is your crush? And Ivy goes, mm, I don't know. Um, and Harley goes, well, when you find your crush, give him a big kiss on the lips. And Ivy goes, okay, I will. Leans over and gives Harley a big kiss on the lips. <laughs> And Harley is just a little shocked by this, but then she starts to melt into the kiss and kiss back. And then they hear Harley Quinn or Toga Himiko and um, uh, Tokoyami Fumikage. And she, she breaks the kiss and goes, well, I gotta get down there and beat some little people up. Wish me luck. And she goes, Good luck. Oh, and here you go. And she grows a vine out of her hand and it goes to the stadium floor and she goes, there you go. And I was like, ooh, okay. So she takes her hand and the hand allows her to go all the way to the, all the way to the bottom of the stadium. And it's now, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tokoyami is thinking, Okay, let me just use Dark Shadow to knock her out of the ring. She walks into the ring and she looks at Dark Shadow and is like, Hmm, shadows don't like light. Don't like light. And she's like, oh, You know what would be insane? A giant light bulb. And she just pulls a giant light bulb out of nowhere from thin air. And she's like, You know what would be even crazier? If it turned on. And it turns on and Dark Shadow can't withstand the light of this light bulb because it's a really high um it makes a lot of light for being super huge and he hides in tokoyami's shadow and she just runs up with a giant hammer and goes four and knocks him out of the stadium and she's like that was insane and she just uh, walks back to the uh, bleachers and she just takes the vine up 
And Ivy goes, mm, you could have done that a little faster. And she goes, uh, yeah, I could have. But I wasn't going to. And I was like, makes sense. You are crazy that way. And she goes, yeah. Isn't that why you like me this way? And I goes, uh, yeah, it, it is. So, um, so for it's fed, it goes to Todoroki versus uh, Ivy. And Todoroki saw the interaction between ha Harley Quinn and Ivy. And he's like, whatever. So, Todoroki is, um, only using his ice still. And she's like, oh, God, he's just going to use his ice. Let me just use some uh, Arctic flowers. And so she just uses her flowers and... She starts to grow many kinds of flowers. And one of them get, brings him back to the time when his mom was out of the insane asylum that his father put her in. And he starts to have flashbacks and PTSD of what her what his mother did to him and what his father did to him. And he starts going crazy. And she goes, okay, I gotta end this. And so she walks up to him and just bitch slaps him outside of the ring. And he's knocked out. And so she walks over to the edge of the stadium and a tree grows. And she just sits on top of it like she is now. And it takes her all the way up to the, the stadium part where the, um, um, where she is supposed to be sitting, sitting, and she just continues to sit on the branch, and and Aizawa has to go on to the intercom and says, "Ivy, Aizawa, please get off the tree and sit in the stadium seating that you are assigned." And she goes, oh, "Fine, Dad." So she gets off the tree and walks to Harley and sits next to her and goes. Oh, fine in the tree and she controls the tree to wrap around the stadium a few times so it it people could still get into the area but it's not a um it's not okay uh it's not um an immediate hit to the concrete walls it's a tree first and he goes can you please shrink the tree and she goes don't worry it's gonna catch people Ugh. and he goes okay thank you and she goes Ugh. and <laughs> so it she won against Todoroki, so Bakugo had to fight against Cat, and Cat won because she just kept dodging him barely and kept it up for a long time, so he ran out of steam. And he has a lot of steam. Especially since he's, not, he's an angry Pomeranian. He ran out a lot. He had to use a lot of steam. So, Baku's pissed off. But he recognizes a cat as a formidable opponent. And yes, he'll still go to best genus. So, um, Harley has to fight, uh, um, cat and so they get in the ring and cat says don't hold back and harley goes <laughs> i won't so they start 
doing hand-to-hand combat and it's getting to the point where Harley is being pushed back a little and she's like, eh, what weapon do you use? And Cat, and Cat goes, I use whips mostly. And she goes, oh, I'm going to give you an insanely short whip. And so she gives her a whip that's maybe five feet long compared to the 26-ish feet that they normally are. For a full-on whip that some tamers use. And so she could still do the whip crack and the, the hitting of a person at, at the distance that she is with her whip. And so... Oh, God. <sighs> Sorry about yawning so much. So they're fighting and she brings out her hammer and she starts getting some consecutive blows on Cat and Cat finally gets flung out of uh, the um, arena. She's like, dang it. And Harley Quinn goes, it was fun. Insanely fun. <laughs> and she just sits down and goes, I don't want to fight her. And she peers behind her going, Oh, really? Do you need a kiss for motivation? And Harley goes, Maybe. So Ivy kisses Harley and she goes, There, you get another one if you win. But if you lose, you got to do something for me. And Harley goes, Mm. Uh, hmm. Hum. Yeah, no. If you win, I get a kiss. But if I win, you get to do something for me. And, she, and Ivy goes, Hmm. Sure. And Ivy uses some of the seeds that she has and throws them out. And by this time, there's dirt everywhere. And so she's like, Cementos, you don't need to fix the stage. And he goes, I know, you're just going to break it again. And, you get, and she goes, no, 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 no. I'm going to improve it. And so she just sits down and she... Sits cross-legged and says, Harley, if you can touch me, you win. And Harley goes, oh, crap. And all these plants just shoot up out of the ground, breaking the concrete even further. It's dust at this point. And they're snapping at Harley. And all the heroes are like, that's insane and Harley starts laughing her ass off and she's like this is gonna be fun and there's they're just small ones so if they get Harley if they bite Harley they're not gonna do much damage but they will do damage So Harley starts running through and all of a sudden she's getting ripped up and she's like, oh crap, this hurts. Better go back. And she runs back and she's like, hmm, that won't work. So she comes up with another plan of attack and she goes, huh, maybe if I throw my insanely big hammer at these, (gasps) my insanely big sword. I could use that. So she pulls out a sword out of nowhere and she starts chopping through the the uh, plants and she finally gets to Ivy and she tries to touch Ivy and these two big uh, Venus flytrap looking things snap at uh, Harley and she goes, no fair. And I, if he goes, you angered them. It wasn't my fault. 
And she goes, how? What? And Ivy goes, I'm just feeding them. You angered them. You made them do this. And Harley goes, oh, duh, I got a sword in my hand. So she brings out her mallet again and she starts beating them uh, with a basically blunt object, pushing them away. And she gets close to Ivy again and she doesn't just touch Ivy. She kisses Ivy. And Ivy goes, mm, you won. And she just says, I forfeit. And Midnight being like, okay. Harley Quinn wins. Or Toga Himiko wins. And everybody's like, what? I, I, I don't even know what's going on. And all the plants start to shrink down to the size of normal Venus flytraps and grass and some flowers. And all of a sudden, this big flower appears in the middle of the, the stadium. And it looks like a rose. And Ivy's in the middle of it with Harley Quinn. And she goes, um... Yeah, she got first, I got second, and she points at Kat and says, she got third. That's all we need to say. Goodbye. And the rose pe the rose basically closes up and gets sucked underground and back at UA. Because the, uh, no, at the dorms, the treehouse gets walls and one of these students who was patrolling for anybody because it's not the class 2a's uh time for the or it's not the second year's time for the uh sports festival it's the first years so they see these these walls show up in these in this house area and like um okay all of a sudden, they see this rose jut out of the ground and and blossom and drop two people into this house. And then it, the walls thicken up. And, she's, and this kid's like, okay. And she, she's heard the rules about walking and touching plants. You gotta ask to touch them first before they... He will allow you or they will attack you because of someone's quirk. And so she walked up to the elevator to allow her up. And she asked, are they busy? And is that Ivy up there? And the plant pulls up and Ivy being summoned by this person. She walks out of the uh, house and goes down and goes, you need me? And... She get, this person goes, no, I don't need you. I just wanted to make sure that it was you and not someone else. Because a giant flower came rocketing out of the ground and dropping two people in your house. Or your dorm, whatever you want to call it. So I just wanted to make sure it was you and not somebody else. Which is like, okay. Makes sense. Uh, have a good day. And she goes, bye to the random person. And she goes back up and says, thank you. And... She uses her ability to close the door and make sure the vine goes away so no one can get into the house. And she walks over to Harley, who's stripped, and she's stripping down from the plants that are currently enclosing or acting as her clothes. And she's like, time for fun. And she loses all the clothes and Harley's like <whistles> you look a lot better without that and Ivy goes mm, so do you and they have fun <laughs> I'm sorry but I'm, I'm not going to do the 18 plus scene I'm, I'm sorry so oh, oops Maybe if I get enough subscribers and I get enough people whining about 18+, plus, I will do a 
a specific 18 plus on my discord but right now i'm not doing 18 plus sorry so this is the end and uh the next one is the internship with the wild wild pussycats and the one after that would be the teachers versus students and after that would be the um yeah will be the uh a test the the licensing test and uh, then it's overhaul arc so I'm almost done almost so talk to you guys later bye